My name is Dr. Jessica Pokonani. I'm a minimally invasive gynecologic surgeon with Columbia University and New York Presbyterian. My specialty areas are endometriosis and pelvic pain and fibroids. So endometriosis, it is an inflammatory disorder. It is when the lining of the inside of the uterus or the endometrium implants outside of the uterus. And what it causes is a whole body inflammation that causes significant pain and discomfort, painful periods, and often infertility. Our classic treatments for endometriosis are hormonal medications to suppress estrogen levels that stimulate endometriosis and surgery. Having now done this for the last decade, it's clear to me that that's not sufficient. And what we've developed at Columbia is a multidisciplinary approach to care that doesn't just address hormonal suppression and surgery, although we do that very well as well, but we focus on treating all the other things that impact the, are the care of our endometriosis patients. Physical therapists, integrated medicine providers, of mental health providers, GI doctors, or many different people on our multidisciplinary network. We focus on holistic care for our patients. We have tons of specialists that are world leaders in many different areas of care. And because endometriosis is a whole body disease, you want a team that they're experts in the whole body. Our innovative teams are coming up with treatment models for how to better diagnose patients, both with imaging and based on history and possibly some blood tests. We are also leading research that looks at ways to manage patients, being able to predict who's gonna to respond to which type of treatment and who may progress on to things like infertility and severe pain. But I think for every individual patient that walks into our premises, it's really listening to our patients, in particular listening to our patients of color who already have a sense that they're not being listened to, so may come with a little bit of guard, but also just based on all of the literature states that we're not listening to them as well. Believing that they have symptoms, believing that they understand what they want and that their goals of care are important, all of those things are important to be able to make a joint decision with the patient.